This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals. This lesson is part of the Express course and part of Course E. In the Express course, it's Lesson 24. In Course E, it's Lesson 19. Determine the concept Puzzle 8. Can you help the bee collect the nectar from the flowers? Yes. You can only collect nectar from flowers, but you can check any space to see if there is a flower. Oh my goodness, only seven blocks they want us to do this in. All right, so like usual, I'm just going to start writing code to see what it would look like. Uh, looks like we'll turn left there. And then what do I want to do? All of these flowers are a one, so I can use an if. So actually, before turning left, let's check our flower. And if there's a flower, we'll get nectar. And remember, we're asking the bee, we're asking the computer, hey, is there a flower? And if I'm at a flower, yes, true, then do, then we get nectar. If false, no, you're not at a flower, zoop, we just skip and run the code below it. But if true, yep, I get the nectar, then I go to the code below it. All right, so that will do that for the flower. Hmm. But I'm at the end of the path, so there's no more path, and I'm going to need to turn left. But after I turn left, I want to keep going forward. So I know a loop for that. As long as there's a path ahead, let's have B move forward. Okay? So as long as I have a path, move forward. If no path, like right here, I'm going to go ahead and have B turn left. Now, how many times do I need to do this? Well, it's like a square. One side, two side, three side, four side, right? So once you turn left B, I would really like you to check now if there's a path ahead. And if so, move forward again until and check if there's a flower until there's no more path again. And if there's no more path right here, turn left. So we want it to do that four times for the four sides. And I think, is this going to be seven blocks, hopefully? Yeah. Huh. Let's give that a shot. So again, this is a loop inside of a loop. And I can step through to show you. Okay, so wall path ahead, move forward. If they're at a flower, which we are, we'll get the nectar. And then wall path ahead, nope, false, no path ahead. So now we'll run the code below it and turn left. Now we're going to check the code below that, which is our repeat loop. Oh, we got to do this four times. So this is our second time now. Wall path ahead, we, we ran, checked if a path ahead is true there is so we'll move forward now we're going to see if there's a flower there is so we'll get nectar and then wall path ahead again yep path ahead move forward is there a flower false so we won't get nectar we'll just go to back to path ahead yep all right let's see how it does Victory! Onward!